also I keep forgetting to turn on the camera this week even though I haven't done a ton uh, again my hair was up while I was sleeping so it looks crazy but um, I think Monday I did Monday I ended up packaging all my um, like window decals I don't know if you're gonna be able to really see what it is um, and then it took me like two hours and there's I, I want to say like 18 here it took me two hours to weed everything and package them um, and then yesterday I ended up just doing um, random stuff I had to sign a lease sorry that's my husband getting a shower uh, I had to sign a lease because we are moving in the same apartment area but we're gonna be getting a three-bedroom townhome so um, and that's less than a month away that we're moving it uh, we're moving the weekend of the 23rd so I am keeping my shop open and I'm keeping my videos going and everything like that um, because I'm gonna uh, like Sunday my video gets edited and uploaded and I'll just make sure I have some time to do that even if I have to like stop the vlogging ahead of time and do that um, just because I am trying to stay consistent with this channel and my shop since I am moving so close I am going to be um, packing my shop related stuff last and unpacking it first um, I know you can't see my full office behind me but like over here is two tall billy bookshelves and like one of the skinnier tall billy bookshelves and there's a lot of books I have to pack and then over here I have this um it's like nine cube unit but I have two stacked so there's 18 cubes but that is going to be um just the totes themselves are going to be pulled out and get packed so yeah but that, all that stuff is not even like store related so the actual stuff for my store will get packed last um yeah so it's gonna be a lot of packing this month but i'm gonna be staying consistent on here um and i just gotta remember to actually turn on the camera and record some content i don't really think there's much I'm getting into today. I just had to unpack some stuff. I got like these shipping labels to see if I like it better than just using paper and taping it. And then I did get two of these because it'll help me packing and it'll also be nice to have for my shop. Um, and then I got these little things that hold washi tape. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna stick those because they're a little bit too tall for my drawer. I am so sorry for this very random clip that I don't have much of, but it's me creating the window clings. I do the text portion in Photoshop, and then I will show you me doing the broom in Procreate, which is much easier to record because you can record, well, Procreate already records for you. And then it is a very, very quick clip of the crystal illustration that I did that's also going to be on another product that I'm about to show in a moment. These little bags. So these are like, in, for my shop, um, I'm going to use them as like spell bags. So for like witches, wiccans, if you want to um, keep your crystals in here or if you want to use it for like spells, like put herbs in there. But you can really use it for anything. Like if you want to hold some jewelry in it where you're traveling or um, if you want to keep change in it, if you want to keep your money in it, whatever you want to use it for, but my intention was for, like, spell bags, hence the one of the designs you're going to see that says I put a spell on you, and then I have, like, a cute little moon, and it was like a moon dream catcher kind of vibe, and then a uh, pentagram. So, this clip I really sped up because it took me, I want to say the whole 15 minute recording time for my camera to do both clips so I have to go through and I already had the sublimation illustration printed on the paper 
and pre-cut to the size so that I have to go around and tape it and use the heat resistant tape and then use a little piece of paper to put it inside the bag that way the sublimation ink doesn't transfer on the inside and after you'll see after I get done a good bit of these bags I realize I could do press two at a time but um yeah I guess you know you live and learn <laughs> It's, it's kind of time consuming just because like 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing like, I guess I did 18 because it was six of each design, so yeah, that's nine minutes all together. It's kind of a long time just to stand there and press the press in, um, which I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is the easy press. It's not the largest one you can get. It's the size down, but I really, really love it.
the realization that I could press two at a time, because even though this isn't the largest easy press, it's perfect to do two. And it worked out okay. I was kind of, I sometimes get worried too that the pressure isn't going to be even and it's going to mess up my design and not um, press it into it and have like a faded spot, but it worked out great. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog after this, these clips. Um, yeah, that was like the biggest thing I did this week was decide to um, make two new products. The window clings were kind of like the end of last week and then doing these spell bags, which are still not up because of the, you know, Christmas season and being out of the house a lot and going back to work for a little bit and then having off for New Year's, but obviously I had plans for New Year's. But I hope you all had a great holiday season. I hope you had a safe New Year's. And I hope you're enjoying my vlogs and you've subscribed already. I know I don't have that many subscribers, but yeah, I hope whoever's watching does enjoy them. And they're just going to get better with time. And I'll try to remember to record a little bit more. But that's it, guys. Thank you again for watching. See ya!